I know it's important. So, um, you know, the encouragement that I've received so far tonight, just from hearing everyone's story, and um, hopefully I can share some encouragement, encouragement as well um, that goes out that academy education that's going on. Um, but yeah, so my journey um, actually started pretty early when, um, I mean, we all kind of, you know, had those experiences when we were little. You know, people ask you which one you when you grow up. Um, after I got through the, uh, the fantasy of wanting to be a police officer and then realizing what they actually do, or a firefighter, <laughs> and realizing that you actually have to go into fires, and then, um, you know, an astronaut, and then finding out there's no oxygen in space. Um, for, for as long as I can, re for as long as I can remember, um, I only wanted to work for myself. My answer became, I don't know what I want to do, I just don't want to have a boss. And in different ways that kind of just like filtered throughout my life, um, um, you know, like Joel mentioned, you know, going to school with him and, you know, how Mike mentioned earlier, Mike being one of my best friends, we basically grew up together. Um, I actually worked with him um, as a youth leader um, in our church. Um, but, but yeah, like I was saying, it kind of it kind of showed itself in different ways. So while I was in school, even though I could do the work, I just didn't find it interesting. And I'm very stubborn. So when my teachers would try to get me to do the work, I just didn't feel like doing it. So I kind of just you know drifted through school. Still ended up graduating, uh, literally at the bottom of my class because, and it's not, you know, of course it's not a brag, but um, when we got our class rankings in the 11th grade, I think it was, everyone that was below me left the school. So I literally graduated at the bottom of my class. Um, and for some reason, when I went to college, I decided to major in psychology. That was a bad idea. <laughs> and I realized it early on, well, because on the first day I was like, I don't want to be in school anymore. I don't want, I didn't read books, for one. I read more now, of course, but back then I was like, I don't want to do the work. I don't want to be in school for eight years or however long it took. Um, so I kind of just took classes, took art classes, did my thing, um, until I decided to leave school, got married, um, ended up moving to Jacksonville, Florida for a few years. And that's where um, my current iteration of entrepreneurship kind of started. Um, the, the, like I said, I went down there to get married. It didn't work out. While I was exiting from that phase of life, I had connected with some really good people um, that were in the music industry on the uh, Christian hip hop, hip, Christian hip hop side of things. And, um, you know, just being a support, just helping them out, um, following them at shows, working at their merch tables, um, you know, different things like that. I kind of, you know, met a couple people, started, you know, trying to work on doing the clothing line. That ended up not uh, working out. But I still had the design programs um, you know, the creative suite and all that with Adobe. And um, I just taught myself how to design. And that was back in 2007. Um, and I kind of just jumped in head first with the design. Um, immediately, since I knew how to do it, I was like, you know what? For my friends, like, hire me. If you need somebody, you know, I got you. It wasn't really good, but, you know, when you just start out doing anything, you're not going to be very good. But I was good enough to make a little bit of money. So that motivated me to keep going. Um, fast forward, I ended up moving back to Boston, um, you know, reconnecting with Mike. Um, my first endeavor moving back was actually starting Church Boy Clothing with him. Um, he was the CEO, I was the creative director. And um, it was good to, you know, kind of get me back in the swing of things, get me you know, moving and um, 
you know, kind of just, you know, try to get my hands on things. But, and I, w I was actually not going to share this, but, you know, hearing, um, you know, some of everyone else's stories and then being transparent, I'm just going to go ahead and, and share. Um, after moving back, and it wasn't because of a failed marriage, it was just moving back and feeling like I had failed, like, um, Sis was saying, like, moving back from New York, you know, you kind of would feel like a failure. I, there was a part of me that knew I didn't fail, but because I was back in the same room at my parents' house that I left uh, when I went to college, kind of made me think otherwise. So, um, so that kind of started a, you know, a battle with depression that would last for a few years, which if anyone hasn't dealt with that before, it makes entrepreneurship very difficult because you have your moments where you're motivated, you're ready to go, you're ready to do your thing, ready to you know, take on the world, and then comes the day when you just don't want to get out of bed. And you literally don't get out of bed. And even if you do get out of bed, you don't fulfill any orders, you don't respond to any text messages, any calls, um, things like that. I don't want to go over right now. But, um, but you know, being that I was able to work with one of my best friends, I was able to work with my brother, um, and our group, the church boy um, name actually came from the group of friends that we had in church growing up. Like, we were the church boys. We kind of took that name, um, which to some outside the church was, you know, poking fun at us. We took that and we owned that. Like, yeah, we're church boys. It's, you know, it's what we do, you know. Um, so we took that name and, you know, we put on a couple of uh, fashion shows. Um, I designed the t-shirt, uh, well, some of the t-shirts. We had, I have another friend that designed as well. He did some of the shirts. Um, and along with designing, I kind of just found myself doing um, almost anything that I found interesting. So like for our first uh, fashion show, I edited the music. I don't have a music background, but I love music. I love editing. So I just did it. And I actually found it yesterday and I was like, I did a pretty good job for the first time. Um, yeah, thank you for the snaps. Uh, <laughs> I felt good to my soul. Uh, but no, so you know, so I got in, so I, so I did some editing, um, so which kind of led me into doing uh, live audio engineering for events. Um, I was really into, I've always been into TV and, and movies and things like that, so. I started to, um, you know, shoot little things here and there. Um, like Joe had mentioned, you know, he had a camera that he was trying to do some things with. I didn't have a camera, but I knew how to do things with the camera, so, you know, he would let me borrow it. I would, I would tell him some things. I mean, like, really, you, you know, you kind of you kind of started my media company, which I was going to mention um, in a second. Um, so Let's I talk had, about financials later. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Um, so yes, yeah, so I can go ahead and jump there. So when, when I was featured on the, the podcast, I had, um, I was designing for one, but then I also had a small uh, media company that I was, you know, running as well. And due to um, a health issue, I was kind of forced into full-time entrepreneurship. And, you know, I'm thinking, it's no big deal. You know, I got plenty of work to keep me, you know, focused. There was a video that was going around um, with Steve Harvey in it, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all have seen it, where, you know, he's talking about, you know, being an entrepreneur and having to jump. And so I saw the video, like, multiple times. I was like, yeah, I just got to jump. I just got to do it. The part that he missed out, or the part <laughs> that he left out, was when you jump, you have to flap your wings <laughs> harder than you ever flapped before, or else you're gonna hit hard. And that's exactly what happened. Um, now of course, things could have been harder than what they were. Thank you know, I'm thankful, you know, for friends and family that you know always kept me um, supported, always looked out for me. But um, the thing hit, and that thing hit hard. And um, so, like Kim was just saying about you know. Sometimes, you know, when you do go into full time, you might have to go back just to, you know, we're still, you know, people, we still got things we got to take care of. So right now, I'm actually working at the uh, 
Planet Fitness in Mattapan. Um, I opened there, just got back on a regular schedule, which I don't know if that was a smart thing to do, because I have to wake up at 3.30 in the morning to make sure I'm there by 5, you know, which, you know, it's the job, so, you know, it is what it is, but I take pride in what I do, so I want to make sure I'm there so that people that like to work out at 5 can be there, you know, so I got to get up early, go in there and get it, and then when I come home, and I still have my work to do, my design work or whatever else, and I end up not going to bed till 12, 30, 1 o'clock. <laughs> you know, it is what it is, but it's a part of the job. And it's the part that I have to, you know, have to sack up and, you know, get back to it if you want to be successful. You know, so right now, um, I feel like I've skipped mad stuff, which is okay. Because uh, my brain is slowly going blank. But, um, but right now, um, I've kind of, you know, I've, I've reintroduced my design company a few times. Um, one other thing that I've learned, you know, during my journey is um, you can chase a lot of small bags. And even if you get those bags, you're going to be exhausted. By bags, I mean, you know, small checks, small money. Or you can specialize and get a slightly larger bag and have a little bit more time on your hands. So instead of, you know, being the guy that does the graphic design, the web design, um, video produce, producing, interviewing, audio producing, um, I was also a video director at my church, um, and sometimes I would have to video direct and run the camera at the same time. So I'm running back and forth doing, you know, two jobs. Um, and a host of other things that I don't, even smoking ribs. Me and my father smoke ribs sometimes. You know, so for the slack, you know, if you want. Um, so if you smell a little smoke in the hoodie, it's hard work. Um, but so instead of, you know, doing all of these different things, um, I decided to, you know, kind of focus in on what I really enjoy doing, the part of design that I really enjoy doing, which is the marketing. And, um, you know, brand special, you know, specializing, consulting. I don't want to do the flyers. I don't want to, you know, do all, I don't want to do all the little stuff. Like, right? you can have your nephew do that for free. Um, <laughs> so, little shade, little shade at your nephew, but it's all, it's all good. Um, but no, but I like, like stuff like this. I really enjoy stuff like this. I really enjoy talking to entrepreneurs about their business, seeing the um, excitement that they have, and. What I really got into design for in the first place was to help. I, I wanted to help my friends that were doing music. I wanted to give them, you know, decent artwork for the, you know, for their projects. Um, I wanted to give them, you know, whatever, basically whatever it was they needed, you know, because I didn't, we didn't have any other friends that were designing. So, you know, I really enjoy, um, you know, just talking about your brand and what you can do to make it better. You know, how you present it to the world. And if I can help and make a little money doing that, then God bless, you know? Um, but yeah, I believe that's it. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, you know, I'm open to answer them. But if not, have a great night. <laughs>